Hello, John Beckman with a quick tutorial on time lapse. Oftentimes, if you are drawing in scientific illustration, you'll be drawing for a period of a few hours. And so taking a video is not realistic. It's too large of a file. But documenting your activity is very productive and very helpful. So I'm going to show you how to download a time lapse screen capture software for free. And I will show you a pipeline of how to convert those time lapse screenshots into a video. Here is the download website. I will put this link in the video description. I'm on a Windows machine, so I'm going to download the chronolapse.exe for Windows. It'll come in a zipped folder. You can move this folder wherever you want it. I'm going to throw it on a desktop. Once you extract and open the folder, these are the elements you will see. This is the application. So double click it to start it. There's a couple key things you can change that are very important. So right away, time between captures, that's the distance between the screenshots. I'm just going to make this real fast so that we can demonstrate it. So the other thing you need to do is configure where it loads the screenshots. And in the ChronoLaps folder that you downloaded, there's already a folder for screenshots. You just need to configure it to navigate to that folder. So configure, browse to wherever you loaded that folder and click screenshots then OK. I'm also going to create a folder, which will come handy later, which is going to be called Video Conversions. Now, all you need to do to start the time lapse screen capture of your screen is press Start Capture. Now it's taking pictures. Those pictures should be accumulating in the folder where you designated them to go. So if you check the screenshots, it's now filling up with time lapse images. So let's just quick to demonstrate in a nice video. Let's just do something like this and see if we can get some screenshots from this process. When you're done with the capture, hit Stop Capture. You can see all those screenshots are now in the folder of screenshots. We're going to convert this now into a time-lapse video using Premiere Pro. But the first step is these files need to be renamed in an order. So you need to hit Rename, go to this Rename tab, Identify the source folder, so navigate to the folder that has the screenshots, hit OK. Then navigate to the output folder where it's going to load the renamed videos. That's what we made the folder video conversion for, OK? And then you just hit Convert Files. It instantly converts them, and what happened was all those files have now been renamed, 001, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc., based on the time it got shot. Now I'm going to show you how to make a video in Premiere. Open Premiere, New Project, then you're going to do File, Import, navigate to the renamed folder. Then you're going to click the very first image. Highlight the one image, just one. Then you're going to check this box, image sequence. That tells Premiere that everything in this folder is a sequence of images. Then all you do is hit open. And now it's a video that you can drag into the timeline. See? And so you can see how you could run screenshots for hours and hours and hours on your computer while you're working. And it won't bog down your computer making videos, converting videos, etc. It's a very useful tool for scientific illustration. Any questions? Hit like, hit share, hit subscribe. Now we can have good energy. Good work. Okay.